Welcome to Chamber Exchange, a TV show. My name is Tim Murray, President and CEO of the Worcester Regional Chamber of Commerce. And Chamber Exchange, a TV show, is an opportunity for us to bring on Chamber member guests, uh, businesses, organizations, uh, and others to talk about issues of economic development and uh, things happening in the community. And the show happens because of our sponsors. I want to thank Bank Hometown and St. Vincent Hospital for helping facilitate this show. And in our first segment, I'm pleased to have a return guest. I think uh, we were talking offline last time Derek was on the show was during our, our COVID, uh, COVID years. COVID years. Yeah. Uh, and uh, Derek Kaiser is the founder and CEO of Fresh Start 508. Yes, yes, uh, yes. I'm Derek Kaiser, the CEO of Fresh Start Wellness Center. And what we do is implement mental health programs in the criminal justice system. And we do it through our four pillars of self-care, uh, intervention and prevention, community service, and um, our main goal is stopping the trauma to prison, the trauma to homicide, the trauma to suicide pipeline. You know, that's our main goal. Yeah, and, and Derek, you know, you've got, a, I think, a unique story in the sense of uh, someone who uh, gone, gone back, gotten, uh -huh. gotten degrees, counseling, but, you know, went through a tough patch for a period of time. Yeah, my personal story, I'm not only the founder of Fresh Start, but I'm also the co-founder of the first gang here in Worcester, Massachusetts. I'm the co-founder of the Kilby Street Gangs. In uh, 1996, I found myself incarcerated in the Worcester House of Correction, and I read a book called Happy Jack Burbage, from Happy Jack Burbage, about an Italian mafia man that turned his life around and gave his life to God. After reading that book, I was able to get released on bail. I was able to attain a bachelor's degree from Worcester State, a master's degree from uh, Cambridge College, and I'm a licensed mental health counselor. And I go all around the world telling people it's okay not to be okay. Yeah, <laughs> you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. And try to get, provide individuals with the resources, tools, skills, and support to get over that life moment. Right. And a big, big root, you know, as have someone has heard you talk in different oh. settings, I mean, part of your conversation is, look, when, when people more often than not, the majority of the time, find themselves in the criminal justice system or the juvenile justice system, uh, what kind of causes those people to reach that point, act out in ways that... Uh, Cause catches them up in the system is mm -hmm. usually is trauma or background or family mm -hmm. situations, and it's you got to get to the root of that if you're going to get somebody back on the straight and straight and narrow, right? Yeah, it all starts. We all have issues. We right. all have problems, you know. But some people just have more resources, tools, skills, and support to get over that moment. And then that's what I try to provide to individuals that don't have it. You know, some individuals might have been verbally, sexually, emotionally, physically abused. Somebody might have seen something they shouldn't even have seen vicariously. Some people genetically be are predisposed to bipolar or schizophrenic, you know, and those situations will cause you to act a certain way or be a certain way and cause you to harm somebody or harm yourself if you don't get them dealt with or mm -hmm. addressed. And a lot of people just ignore them you know, just say, just forget about it. But I'm trying to tell people you got to deal with your core issues now before it becomes a bigger problem in your life. Mm. So and, you know, in terms of the, the, the Fresh Start 508 and the, and the Wellness Center, a certain aspect of your work is prevention, engaging young kids mm -hmm. as early as possible, mm -hmm. saying it's okay not <laughs> to be okay and how to get, get the help. But then you also, the other end, you do work with people who mm -hmm. are slated to be released mm -hmm. from, from jail or recently uh, released and you kind of work with them in a program you work with employers and mm -hmm. helping find them jobs which mm -hmm. is important to have that structure and way to provide for themselves yeah. my main goal is you know one thing I do is try to prevent individuals from getting in it in the first place so I work along with the Whistle Public Schools of letting kids know you know it's a no-win situation when it comes to dealing with gangs and dealing with substance abuse I bring individuals who have similar stories like myself that got past experience involved with the criminal justice system to come speak to the kids and let them know the similar situations that they in. At the same time, I work with the sheriff. I work with the Department of Corrections of when talking, going inside the inside the place, inside the jails, talking to the individuals, letting them know about my program. And once they're released, I help assist them you know, get jobs and get employment. You know, to this day, since opening in 2016, I was able to get 444 individuals jobs, 280 something individuals mental health services, and over close to 170 something individuals vocational educational placement, you know, and speaking to thousands of kids in school. So my main thing is just not even getting them a job, but teaching them how to sustain that job. Mm -hmm. You know, you can get anybody can get a job, but look for more of a career, look for something that's life you know that would that would contribute to your lifelong but you know a lot of individuals when they come from jails or they come from situations that you know 
they're not familiar with certain institutions right. when it comes to work and stuff like that. So I try to get them prepared for that. And some of the, you work with an array of employers, yes, correct? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, work with you in the chamber. Yeah, <laughs> you yeah. know, thank you for giving me this map. But I work with a lot of your businesses from the chambers. You know, I ask for individuals that's Corey friendly. You know, there's a work for someone them. who may not know what a Corey is. It that's a criminal background yeah, check, and yeah. there's been some reforms. But yeah. you know, you I'm gonna. I think you were, what you were about to say is, you know, one of the things we tell our member businesses who their number one issue is access to talent and employees is that, you know, they've got to look across the spectrum. You know, that includes people who mm -hmm. have served their time, come out looking for a new opportunity. Mm -hmm. uh, but if, you know, why don't you just walk through what that Corey check and Corey friendly means? Corey friendly means is employers giving somebody a second chance. You know, just an individual like myself, I have a record that's long high, but right now it's sealed. You know what I mean? Because I've been over 30 years without getting in trouble. But you have individuals that similar like myself at the beginning, I went to an employer, you know, trying to get hired. They looked at my Corey, they didn't hire me, you know, just in fact, but here I am with a master's degree and you're going to deny me because of my Corey that happened 30 years ago, right, you know, right. 20 years ago. So I ask employers to give individuals a chance, but not only that, because I prepare the individual to work. Some individuals don't know how to listen to authority figures. Some individuals don't know how to take information. Some individuals don't even know how to deal with technology. So what I do is I do life skills, teach them how to manage money. I minimize the negative risk factors that's pre prevent, preventing them from being successful at that job. And then I provide them with the resources, tools, skills, and support to sustain that job. So maybe they might need transportation or daycare. So I would use my community partners to make sure that they get them the help that they need. Right, and um, I assume, is there a set period of time that you work with people or is there as needed basis or? You know, see, when it, when it comes to me, you know, due to funding, you know, and the lack of staff and then, you know, the financial freedoms that I have, if I had a bigger staff, I could be able to assist multiple, multiple people because a lot of people come to me because they recognize who I am. They right. recognize me from the community and they feel comfortable with me. But due to the lack of staff and the lack of, you know, financial things, I'm only able to assist a certain amount of people mm -hmm. and utilize my facility at a time, but I'm willing to help everybody that, that I can. Right, you know right. what I mean? I've been doing it for the past six years. Yeah, and you said your way. facility, you're located here uh, in Worcester? 16 Austin Street, right downtown, 16 Austin Street, been there for six years, you know what I mean? All you gotta do is just give me a call, reach out to freshstart508.org and, you know, and then find out, um, you know how to get in contact. So fresh day, fresh start five hundred eight dot com is yeah. where people can kind of get five in touch. Org. Yeah, make sure five hundred eight dot org. Five hundred eight dot org. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, you know, so kind of obviously funding's a challenge. Mm -hmm. Working with with governmental partners mm -hmm. and things like that. Um, you know, as you kind of go through your work, what's what's next? Does it just kind of staying at it? No, no. Uh, I, call, I do it like, I live like this, one day at a time, steady on the grind. You know what I mean? <laughs> and, and, and that's how I live, you know, because that's all we're promised. Tomorrow isn't promised. So what I do is I just try to find, you know, out of the ways, out of the box thinking of ways to get individuals jobs, get individuals the help that they need. So I have a multiple programs that's going around. So I just created an out of the box print and marketing agency. I created a So Fresh and So Green landscaping. I created uh, the hacker of uh, virtual reality dealing with your mental health. So I created multiple businesses now inside of Fresh Start where we can get profits without counting on grants and being able to hire the individuals mm -hmm. so where we're sustainable without money, you know, because I realized for the past six years, if I'm waiting on people to give me grant or continuing to beg people to help people, you know, right, help the right. community is, I'm not getting nowhere. So I'm trying to find out a different way to be sustainable with inside of ourselves. So I, you know, I reached out for a few people and they were able to help me with some equipment. I was able to reach in my own pocket to grab up certain equipment. And we're starting our own like four or five multiple businesses all inside of Fresh Start, you know. And just so you, you become an fun. employer yourself. Employer yourself, you know what I mean? To be able to hire them in that way, we're not depending on the grant. When the grant runs out, I gotta go, hey, unfortunately we don't have no more work for you, you know, and these right. are individuals that depend on a job where they can't even get a second chance at nowhere else. That, you know? that continuity and stability yeah, is important. Yeah, yeah. And, and this is what I, I tell people, when it comes to hiring certain people, if you hire these individuals, you know, these are less people that's out there committing crime. These are less people that's out there being the detriment to society. So if we're able to assist them and change their lives, you can find yourself a person like myself that's been contacting, you know, changing many lives just off of one person. So, you know. Derek Kaiser, founder uh, and uh, CEO of Fresh Start 508. Great to have you with us. 
always want to thank you and I want to thank the Chambers for giving me this platform to be able to speak my business. And if anybody want to get a hold of me, reach out to freshstart508.org and let me see how I can be able to assist you. Thank good, you good stuff. All right. Appreciate you. Yeah. Come right back. These days, you've got your hands full in life. That's why we help you bank simply and securely with tools like Face ID and Touch ID. It's why we make it easy to make purchases on the go and get cash back while you're at it. Why we help you quickly deposit checks wherever you are. And it's why we lend a hand with sending and receiving money right from your phone. So even when you're on the move, you can manage your finances. Bank Hometown. Unlock your potential.